We all know the pictures on Zara website are very oh, peculiar, weird, we all know it. How cute is this? I'm very, very impressed. Welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if you're just stumbling across this video today. So this one is going to be an exciting one. As you can see I have many boxes here because I've been doing a little bit of shopping or should I say I've been doing a big online shop and the postman actually delivered my Zara orders, there's two boxes of Zara orders here which I'm very excited to unbox with you, really early. I put this order in and it basically came in the evening last night, the same day. I feel like it was just fate that I had to then film this video for you guys because I need to show you all of this newness that I've been getting. It's from Zara and from Mango. And I feel like I also wanted to sit and chat with you about my jewellery pieces because I've been getting a lot of questions. If you guys watch my vlogs, you will have seen these new pieces that I've been wearing a lot now. And also this jumper I have been wearing to death as well. We will link it down below. But I'm going to talk you through them because they are so beautiful and I feel like they just make my outfits. And especially these looks here, I'm going to be styling and you'll be seeing the jewellery pieces that I'm going to be styling with them as well. So I'm going to do this as a really kind of relaxed, casual way you guys seem to like it last time so I thought let's just sit down unbox it and try it on because I actually haven't tried these pieces on with you as I said I was very excited the order came late last night and I had to film this first thing today and it's officially the 1st of November so it's my birthday month and if I didn't say before I am going to New York next week which I am so excited about so all of these pieces I've been shopping for for the trip so I'm sure you'll be seeing it over on the gram soon how I'm going to be styling them up but you guys are going to have the first sneak peek because this is brand new in Zara and Mango. And as always, I will be linking them down below. But I'm going to talk you through these jewellery pieces from Monica Veneda first. So I have been wearing these pieces on repeat. I feel like I actually haven't taken some of them off, especially this bracelet. I've been wearing in the shower, everything. It is not tainted. And I just feel like when it comes to autumn winter, jewellery really does make an outfit. Especially I prefer going a little bit chunkier to layer over like I have today with like my knits. I just think it makes it stand out a little bit more. These pieces are all gold. They're 100% recycled, 18 karat gold. And all the diamonds, gems and pearls are ethically sourced. So you have that peace of mind knowing that all of the jewellery is also sustainable, which is such a key for me when I am invested in new jewellery pieces. And like I said, these have not worn guys and I've been wearing them to death. So today I currently have in the hoop earrings and these are a little bit distressed if you see up close. They have the beautiful detail in them. The necklace, the matching bracelet and I love to layer as well. So I've laid the bracelets together like I said which I love. So this is the chunky chain one and it has this kind of like distressed feel to it. It just looks so luxe and high end especially with the matching necklace. I think they look great together. And then this is the heirloom bracelet which I, as I said, I haven't taken off. I think it looks so beautiful and it definitely looks more than what it's worth. I think the price points of the jewellery really match up, especially for the fact that they are all sustainable and 18 karat gold as well. I also wanted to mention with the chunky chain bracelet and the necklace, the clasp is super easy to use. As you can see, you just push it in and take it out of the chain links. All of these pieces I will link down below for you because they are absolutely beautiful and Monica Veneda have kindly given me a 20% discount to share with you guys and as we are now in November it is officially coming into the gifting period so this would make such a beautiful gift for your loved ones and also take the stress away when it comes to that last minute panic you can save 20% off the jewelry pieces or even if you just want to treat yourself because I know I've had my eye on a few other pieces on the website and I'm also looking at gifting my sister some pieces as well because she's been hounding me for this bracelet because she loves it so I will leave the discount code on the screen. I will also leave it down below for you guys because it's 20% off. It is so worth it. And this it can be used across all of the pieces I've shown you on Monica Veneda's website. So. Okay, I'm going to start with Zara because I feel like we all want to see what's come in these boxes. The fact it came so quick, I was really very, very impressed. So let's unbox these two because they've come in two separate boxes first. And then... We will get onto mango. I can only apologise for this lighting. I have tried filming this downstairs with all of my lights on. 
and it literally looked like the middle of the night I'm trying to film it up here and it is currently pouring down of rain and it's a thunderstorm outside so well it's due to be a thunderstorm and it looks like it so really sorry if this is a little bit dark hopefully you'll be able to see the outfits but i recently went to the zara Basti store if you haven't been it is a must it is the best zara i've ever been to in my life it had its own shoe section which actually made me realize i never look at the shoes when i go into the zara store because they're always like tucked underneath so definitely worth a visit and i tried on this coat when i went in store and a lot of you on TikTok were like, why didn't you get this coat? And I immediately regretted it. And I actually haven't invested in a coat this season. So this will be the one that I invested in. And the fact that I've also been thinking about it like two weeks after just made me realise I really want the coat. So it's this gorgeous camel colour and it's a wrap one. So it comes wrapped here and then it has this beautiful detail in here on the sleeves with the buttons. I just think the colour and the quality of this is just beautiful. So it is a bit more of an investment. This is £149.99, £150. But for me, when it comes to coats, I only usually invest in like one or two per year. And then I just literally bring them out year on year and wear them to death. The first piece is a success. Like I said, I tried this on in store. I loved it. And now I've got it. I'm really glad I actually got it because I just think it's such a beautiful coat i absolutely love the color i love the details around the sleeves obviously i've got it just tied at the minute with like a black knit dress underneath and then i'd wear it with my knee-high boots but again i'd be wearing this with everything it's just an easy coat to wrap and layer over your outfits and then i'd also be wearing it a little bit just like more undone you can either tie it at the back and you can also detach the belt on it as well so you can have it a little bit more undone and casual but i just think this is such a beautiful coat and just to kind of show you the back of it obviously it's untied at the minute but it's a lovely length it just comes to the calf and then it's also got the slit detail so it has that movement as well and then i saw this and i thought the fact i'm going to new york i needed to put it in my basket it's not something i would usually go for but like i said it's just screaming new york this hoodie i actually got it in a large and i'm glad i did because it comes quite cropped a city of skyscrapers and then it's got the new york embroidered in the back this lovely cream colour and then it's got a little bit of the logo here on the front as well but I thought even to travel in with like some cream joggers or just have it in the day with some jeans and like a big coat over the top because my outfits are going to be pretty casual in the day when it comes to walking around the city so I just thought this was quite cool and on brand for the trip so I've just put this hoodie with some black faux leather trousers but I actually think I'd wear this with just like my cream joggers to travel in but I actually really like it. This is the large. It's got the little logo here. It's very much like a thin hoodie, so it's not thick. It's not overbearing. Putting clothes on and off my head, so it's gone a little bit messy. But imagine this with some cream joggers, my Chanel trainers, a big trench coat. All cozy and comfy to travel in. So, so I did already open this. I haven't tried it on because I was really intrigued to see if this scarf and hat was going to match up to my expectation. So all of my scarves and hats were in our outdoor, we've got like an outdoor storage shed. And Chris decided to leave them there, not covered up. So I'm gonna blame him and they've gone horrible. So I literally had to throw them all away. So I needed to invest in a good hat. And this is the most beautiful material. I was worried it would be itchy and it's not at all. And it was 19.99, so it's so worth it. I love the color of it. It's like creamy beige color. And then it also has the matching scarf. So I just thought this is so nice just to layer over my outfits. And especially now it's going to be coming into the colder season. I just think you can't go wrong with like a nice woolly hat and scarf. Now, these leather trousers. I feel like every piece I'm picking up, I have a story for it. So I actually got these last year in black. I have worn them to death. Like, I actually feel like the seam is probably about to break because I wear them so much. I don't know what it is for me. Being on the shorter side, I really struggle to find trousers, leather trousers, jeans that just fit me right. And when I saw that they did these this year in the cream colour, I had to get them. They're a little bit cropped. They have a tiny bit of a flare, but they just fit perfectly around the waist, just everywhere. I love them. They're really flattering. 
So I got them in this cream colour. Also love that it had the gold bottom. So I'm going to style them up and see how they look. The faux leather trousers are on. And again, I know I love them because I've got them already in black. I just love the style of them. As you can see, they just fit perfectly. And they fall perfectly at the ankle for me as well. These are obviously cropped, like I said. So if you are taller, then do expect them to be a bit more cropped. But they just hit perfectly for me being on the petite side. The only thing is, which I'm so disappointed because I was like, yep, yeah, perfect, fit great, love the colour. They actually go really well with this jumper. Again, I've just kind of tucked in so you can see the actual detail of them. And this is the bum, but can we spot another hole? Like, what is going on with this order? It's a full-on hole with a seam and it isn't me. There was a hole before I even put them on, which was really annoying. So I'm going to have to send these back and get them again and hope that this is just a faulty pair. Now, because... I've been looking for this set for ages and I couldn't find it online because the actual picture, we all know the pictures on Zara website, are very bizarre, peculiar, weird, we all know it. There's actually an Instagram for it, I don't know what it was, I don't know what it's called now, me and my sister found it and it was hilarious, but we know we've seen all the memes. Anyway, off subject. I couldn't find the set and I was like, I know it's new in, like I randomly saw it in store, went back to the store, couldn't find it. And for some reason on the website, it looks like a beige colour, but it is grey. So I got the grey knit skirt, this is in a size small, I just think this is going to be so cute with the matching jumper. And I feel like at the minute it's not too cold, so you can get away with wearing like a knit set like this on its own. So this is the roll neck grey knit. And if you actually watch my last haul, you'll know I'm really digging great at the minute. I absolutely love this set. I think it's so lush. I'm finally glad I got my hands on it because there's a similar one on H&M which is always sold out. And this is very similar. So really happy I got it. This is the skirt. It comes very high waist. It's literally so comfortable, so stretchy. I will definitely be wearing these as separates as well to get the use out of them. But I just think together this it looks so nice with my knee high boots and then layer it with a coat over the top so this is absolutely a must I'm keeping it um, I got a size small if I didn't say before in both and I think it's great I could even maybe go for like a medium if I wanted this very oversized but I think this works fine as it is and then I also realized I was lacking my wardrobe a beigey camel colored trouser and it's something that I really really wanted and I couldn't find online anywhere so I ordered two different styles on Zara but I don't know why, I feel like I must have been half asleep when I ordered these because I got an extra small and I feel like I was being too optimistic because I definitely probably need the small in these. But this is the first pair of trousers and these are more of like, not flared, but more of like a straight leg, the ones that I was after. And then they've got the pleats going down and I love the colour. And they've actually got these pockets here at the back. So I feel like I'm going to try it on. This is an extra small. I feel like I'm probably going to need the small anyway. But this is definitely the style and the colour that I was after. I just think it looks so chic with so many different outfits. And it's just like a staple piece in your wardrobe, again, which I realised I was lacking. I've got my jumper on, so I've just tucked it into my bra so you can kind of see the trousers better. But definitely need a small in them. They, they fit, but they just feel tight. And I feel like you can see they're kind of like pulling a little bit here which I don't want I definitely want to have them feeling comfortable to wear but I've also noticed if you can kind of see on the camera here there is a hole in the material here which really isn't good so definitely need to send these back anyway the fact they are too small but that is not good so it's a full-on hole Apart from that I do actually like the colour and the style of them, so I'm going to order them in a small, hopefully there'll be no hole, and see how they are. Of course, Zara trousers are always long on me, this is literally me on my tiptoes, so I'll have to get them taken up. The sun is starting to come out, the rain has finally stopped, so hopefully this lighting gets better. But this is another pair that I picked up, just because I wanted to try both in this kind of colour. This feels like a little bit of a lighter beige rather than a camel colour. But these are, I feel like everyone knows these Zara trousers. I got them in cream, I think I got them like three years ago and they're still forever in my wardrobe. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't have the belt hoops because I love to wear belts in my trousers. So these are very high waisted, so I'm going to see how they look on. I like them and I obviously already know the fit of these because I have them in cream 
and they are a great fit and I feel like they are a piece that is kind of like easy to style I think this would look beautiful with a black jumper like a thin knit black blazer black boots you can wear this with like trainers have it a bit more casual even if you wanted to go like an all creamy beige look with the jumper I've got now but I think I'd kind of want to break it up the only thing is with this is I was looking for more of more of like a tailored straight leg trouser so I think maybe the other ones are better and just get them in a size small because oh then this piece is more of an evening piece which I saw and I just thought this is so cute it's so me I love the bow on it it's this bodysuit how cute is this it's got the big white bow and then it goes into the black bodysuit and then the white straps but I just thought this even with like a little mini skirt, leather trousers, black blazer. I'm just gonna wear this one evening in New York. A big blazer, maybe some knee high boots. I can't wait to style this off, I think it's so cute. And then I've actually got a black bow that I could put in my hair and kind of match it. This is the bodysuit on. I will be wearing like a big blazer over the top. I think it would actually look cute with a little skirt, but I just put it on with the faux leather trousers just to show you because these are obviously the ones that I have in cream that I've also got in black that I've had for ages. But this is the cutest little bodysuit. I love this big bow. And going into this festive season, I think this will be perfect to style so many different ways. You can make some cute looks out of this, like I said, with a little mini skirt, put a little bow in my hair. I love this. And I got the same item in two different colours. I got it in black knit and the cream knit because, again... I had a clear out and all of my knit dresses were super old and had gone bubbly so I had to throw them away so I really hope these are a good fit. I got them in black and I got them in cream because you just can't go wrong with a good knit dress. Just simple, easy and you can style it so many different ways. So hopefully these fit well. I got a small in both and they were £32.99. Finally found a knit midi dress that fits perfectly so very happy with this and I actually like the fact that this isn't roll neck it just comes high neck and then that's it so this is so comfortable and the quality is really nice it's like a thicker material but not a full knit if that makes sense I can't explain it it just feels really nice on and it's not going to be one of those pieces that feel too chunky and heavy and make me feel like overwhelmed and hot. I feel like there's no point in me even trying the cream on because it's the exact same dress just in the cream and I don't want to get my makeup on it. Okay so. now moving on to mango. This long cream dress. Now I was unsure on this. I feel like it was one of those where it will either be beautiful on or it just won't live up to the expectation. And I'm just unsure on the material of it. It kind of looks a little bit like yellowy beige to me. So we will see how this looks on. I don't know what it is about this dress that I'm not overly keen on. I have just took my bra off because I was trying on obviously the other pieces to show you. So... This is how it looks. I love the top of it. I feel like I need to kind of play around and style it because it is so elegant the way it just falls to the bottom. So this is definitely a maxi dress on me. It'll probably be maybe a bit more of like a midi maxi on other people but because I'm on the shorter side. It is super flattering. It just hangs in the right places and it's got this kind of rib detailing going through it and the sleeves are beautiful as well. Okay, I feel like as I'm describing it, it is grown on me but I don't know if it's just something here around the neck that I'm not feeling. It's such a lush dress. I feel like I just need to kind of have a play around, style it, and then see how I'm going to wear it. Maybe with like my cream knee high boots. But what do we think? Shall I keep this? Shall I return it? Then I did also get another knit dress because I wanted to compare them and see which I preferred because this one was more of a high roll neck knit and this actually feels a lot thicker. So I'm going to see how this looks because I think I actually might prefer the Zara. So this is the mango knit dress and I think I'm going to return this and keep the Zara one. I do like it. This is just a thicker knit and it has this roll neck and sometimes these roll necks just don't sit right with me. I feel like I'm constantly trying to readjust it and I just don't, I don't know if I'm feeling it to be honest. But the rest of the dress like fits fine. It is nice, but I prefer the Zara one. So, And I also got this black satin slip skirt. Just such a beautiful staple to have in your wardrobe. I love mixing satin with textured knits. I love the mix of it together. I think it looks so chic. So this, even with like my striped um, high neck jumper, it's like a 
dupe of the toe tan would look beautiful as well. I mean, there's so many different ways to style this, especially if you work in an office. It's a really nice staple to have in style as well. So I've just styled my jumper. This is actually from Studio by Charlotte. I got it last year and I believe they've actually now restocked. It is a complete beautiful dupe of the totem one so hopefully it has come back in stock and i've also seen a few similar online that i'll link for you guys but i've styled it with the black satin skirt and i just think these look beautiful together obviously i haven't got the shoes on now but i'd wear it with either black chunky boots my black heeled boots that i've got even if you wanted to go really casual you could just put like converse with this and kind of dress it down and then a big coat over the top but the skirt fits beautifully it's elasticated it's comfy it just hangs in the right place as well and then this dress i am so excited to wear this in new york it is beautiful i saw it on the website and i was actually shocked at the price i thought it would be more than it was it's got these shoulder pads here so i love the fact it's a little bit boxing structured very my style and then look at the back of it, it comes open with this chain link back it is just so beautiful it's like the perfect let's give it this moment little black dress I am honestly so obsessed with this dress. It is just the perfect little black dress. It's such a classic, timeless one. It will always be in my wardrobe. I love the shoulder pad details. It is very me, this boxy kind of feel on the top here. It just gives it really nice structure. And then it has this little slit here, nice kind of like sexy feel to it. And then the back is where it's all happening. If you can kind of see, it comes low at the back. I just think this dress is so stunning. And I'm going to be wearing it in New York in one of the evenings. And then some nice kind of like statement dangly silver earrings to match the silver details. I actually forgot to show you this in the unboxing. So this is the last piece of the haul. And it's just generally because I've been wearing it already a lot for like dog walks and stuff. It's this quilted jacket. Now this again is such a good dupe of the Frankie Shop one. It is really good quality. I like the fact that it's really lightweight. Like I said, I've just been wearing it similar to this. Like with the jumper, leggings for dog walks, running errands. And then obviously you can style this in a few different ways if you wanted to wear it a bit more casual to go out. And if I didn't say before, I got this in a size small and it fits great. It's kind of oversized, but just how I wanted it really. So really happy with the sizing as well. So that is it guys. That is everything that I've been recently picking up from Zara Mango for my upcoming New York trip. If I haven't said before, I'm so excited for it. So I will be listing all the pieces down below as usual and I'll also leave my size for reference as well so you guys can shop them because all of these are pretty much new in. Well, definitely new in. It came last night and I'm doing the haul today. So hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on them and if not, I will try and link similar if I can't find it online. So if you did like this video, guys, it's kind of more relaxed, chilled out, try on style, please do give it a like. It's a really good indicator for me and I'll come back with a lot more of these videos make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the upcoming videos and of course the New York vlog where you'll be seeing all of these outfits out in New York when I'm going to be wearing them but I will leave all of my latest videos in the next slide so you can catch up on them if you haven't seen them and I'll see you guys in the next one